Hi, my name is Gene Arnold from TIPGO JasperSoft, and in this video, I'll be discussing how to connect Jasper Report Server to Salesforce.com. Jasper Report Server comes with the Salesforce data source right out of the box in version 6.2.1. Simply selecting the option to create the new data source from Jasper Report Server will give you the opportunity to create this connection. Let me show you a connection I've already created so you can see exactly how this works live. Here's a data source that I've already created. Let's talk about the items that need to be filled in. The host is the location of your Salesforce application. It's important to get this correct so that Jasper Report Server sends the requests to the correct location. Next is your security token. A user in Salesforce has the opportunity to create a security token. This token is used with the username and password of the user to log the user in. The maximum number of web service calls should either be left alone or discussed with your Jasper Report server and or Salesforce admins. The URL is required but gets created on the fly as you add in the items to this screen, so no need to change that on your own. Finally, there are the username and password sections that take your Salesforce login information. Testing is always a good idea to make sure everything is working okay. With everything set up, tested, and saved, you can use this data source within Jasper Report Server. Let's create a domain with it now. Choosing Create New Domain gives you the Add New Domain screen. Here we will give our domain a name. Choose where it will be saved. And select the data source we just created as the data source for the domain. Once completed, it's time to design the domain. So click the Create with Domain Designer link. The first thing you will see is the Database Schema Selection dialog. Choose S-Force and then the OK button. Once you choose the S-Force Schema, it's now just a matter of choosing your tables and joining them together. At this point, creating a domain would be no different than creating a domain with a relational database. After choosing your tables, you'd of course choose your joins and then create your display to create a user interface with all of your different fields laid out in a nice categorical manner. If you have any questions on how to create domains, then the Docs section in our community webpage is the place to go. Specifically, the Jasper Report Server User Guide. This document will give you all the information needed to build a domain inside of Jasper Report Server. Again, this is Gene Arnold from TIPGO JasperSoft. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching.